Welcome to the Stat Guy Show, episode number 28. Joining me tonight is Mr. Jay Bodie Jr. How are you doing, sir? Good, I'm good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming on. So what's going on? What you got going on tonight? You just told me earlier, you don't live in Cali no more, man? I'm a Texan now, man. I got out of Cali about, been about five, five months I've been out here, man. I just, I've been loving it, though. Texas. Yeah? Been good. Yeah, yeah. How's the weather different from California to Southern Texas? Texas is real bipolar, man. In one second, it's hot, and it's still hot. I'm like, make up your mind, but uh, yeah, I haven't experienced the the hot, hot yet. So everybody telling me to keep my AC on, and stay inside. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. I was there for a year, and it gets hot as it gets hot as shit in the summertime. <laughs> yeah, that was last year in Houston and Dallas. It was miserable, so I already know what this summer about to look like. <laughs> Luckily, we don't yeah. for the most part, but uh, so what's up, man? So uh let's talk about let's talk about your car, man. You still got that silver, that beautiful silver Camaro. Are you gonna be yeah. racing that this year? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a little different now. I kinda I kinda made it mean looking a little bit. I blacked out the wheels and uh all the silver trimming on it is uh I mean all the chrome trimming is black now, so and it got it kind of different. It's the same gray scheme but it's a different kind of color so other than that the car's the same from last year nice man it's a, it's a beautiful car it's uh i know a lot of people have camaros out there but yours, yours definitely stands out yeah, for sure of, yeah um are you gonna be running the same pro charge combination you did last year or, or what's going on there yep i got the same setup as last year um pro charger hit me uh last year i say we still had we were still finding the car at the end of the year so I'm like, ain't, ain't no sense of changing this car. Let's leave it how it is and go out and test it and get it faster. So we're leaving it the same. Yeah, and then obviously you uh, have seen the new rule changes for this year. Um, did you run 36 last year, inch tires, yeah. or were you on 34 and a half? 36 on my car. I was at 34.5. So that 36, uh, taking away that 36 never hurt me. So um, – I actually, last year I got to be twenty eight hundred pounds. This year I can be twenty eight seventy five. So it actually, oh, okay. mm -hmm. yeah, nice. And what what was the pro charge? What was the pro charger size you ran last year? Was you just run the one forty? Yeah, one forty dash one. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, so you run yeah. the same thing. Nice. So yeah. the rules around rules didn't affect you much. Do you think? Um, do you think any uh, combination has an advantage this year coming into this year compared to last year? Dude, last year was so close. Like, I feel like it's fair game with all combos. It's just who can put that power to the ground on any given weekend. Yeah. Like, body so close. Like, out of the 32 cars, I feel like all 32 cars can win each weekend. Like, yeah, for sure, man. It's that close. For sure. The second half of the year, y'all were flying. Everybody was everybody was so fast, man. It was it was crazy. Yeah, we were getting there, and then we – Dallas – no. Not Dallas. Before that, prior to that, um, it was the third race before the end of the race, end of the season last year in North Carolina. We ended up hurting the motor, and we were making some good passes out there. I felt like we had the car to win, and then we hurt the motor there, and then we had to miss the race in Alabama. Then we came back in Dallas, and I mean, Stinky Pinky just outran us, so we ended it. Yeah. Our so it is what it is. Um, have you been testing at all, or are you going to be testing soon? I was just out at uh, Triggerman's race. Jamie Triggerman, uh, he had a race last – what was that, last weekend? No, it was two, two weekends ago in South Carolina at Darlington, and we uh, ended up hurting the motor on the second pass. So Now, okay. we motor fix, so we should be out testing again probably in the next two weeks. Okay, and, and so you were testing by going to a, a no-prep event. Um, I know a lot of guys I talk to on here talk about they do testing just at their own. They rent a track out or something, but – are you going to be doing doing more no prep events, or are you just going to be testing on your own? That's it. I'm. It's just testing right now. We got to get focused and get ready for the season. This season is going to be real serious, so we ain't going out to no races or nothing. We specifically testing, private testing. Okay, cool, man. Um, before we get into this past season um, that you had a great great season on, I want to talk about a little before that, man. And what kind of racing were you doing before you got on the no prep kings? Uh, I started out small tire uh, grudge racing. My dad, actually, I was in school. I was in school playing football, and I always had a, a little Camaro, O2 Camaro. It's just stock. I brought it to the track when I was through high school to I was in college, and it ran, what, 13, 13 twos? So it wasn't 
But my dad, I was been telling my dad after school, I'm like, I want to race, I want to race. He's like, nah, hold on, you got to finish school first. So after I got done with school and college, uh, came back home, I was like, Dad, I'm ready. He's like, all right. So <laughs> he got a, um, it was a 2000 fire small block in it, small block nitrous motor. And um, he actually threw me straight in it at a race. So <laughs> I got in it and um, he wouldn't let me turn the nitrous on. So I'm going through testing and uh, the first round comes, um, no nitrous. Now I, I, I won. I'm like, Dad, we we trying to win this. <laughs> He's like, I, I don't know, dude. I don't know. So I convinced him to turn on the nitrous. Like, we can win this. Turned on the nitrous, and I did a wheel stand, drug the bumper, and won. And uh, I, I won that race. I won that race the first time out. So that nice. hooked. See, I've been hooked. Hell yeah, man. So I'm a I'm an ex-football guy. I played in uh, high school and college, semi-pro. So you, did you play football in college? Yeah, I signed my college in L.A. Nice, man. What position did you play? I played corner and uh, safety. I was defensive. Oh, okay. Hit, not be hit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice, yeah. man. Yeah. That's cool. Um, yeah. So how did it come about that you got to start racing at No Prep Kings? Like, how, did, did your dad get you hooked up with that? Did the producer say, hey, what do you think about Junior coming on? It was like pulling teeth for me because after school, actually, I got into an apprenticeship for engineering. So I was in apprenticeship for four years. So that whole four years, Sam been telling my dad, like, hey, we need to get him out on this no prep in Street Outlaws. So I'm like, I'm obligated to this. This is my life. So I got through that apprenticeship for four years. And then after that, it was a go. So that, that was what last year, my first debut year. I got able I was able to get out there and race. Yeah, man, you got you jumped right into it, um, yeah. and you did really well, man. How do you overall? How do you think your season went for your first season? Um, it was eye opener, man. Now, a lot of people don't understand what it takes to run with this uh, these no prep guys, man. It's it's a real deal. Like it's damn near NHRA status. Like you got to have your p's and q's to run with Ryan Martin's, these Kai Kelly's, man. So. Last year, I felt going to what I took from last year going to this year is just stay on top of your program. Everything matters, like from the little things to the big thing. Everything matters. Your program got to be in order to win, to be that top guy. So, mm-hmm. yeah, this year, I feel like um, me and my dad program going to be 20 times better as last year. Nice, man. Hell yeah. Um, was it your goal last year to make every race? Cause I know you only made, I think you raced in 10 races last year, 10 events yeah. you made. Did you know you weren't going to make them all, or was was your plan to make them all? My plan was to make them all, but we we went into it uh, like we we not we not no big money guys, so we went into those races, hurt motors, and, and then actually beginning of the season we came from the street. My dad ran my car on the street. What was it fastest in America down mm-hmm. in Texas? So it was still shut up on the street, and I go out there in Florida. And all the car I wanted to do was Willie. And I'm like, nah, let's uh, let's sit a few races out and get the car right before I like, go out here my first time looking crazy. I didn't want to <laughs> right and then came back out. I missed a few races. And then what happened? I think I – I hurt the motor like twice last year. And it sent, sent, sent me back a few races. So, mm-hmm. yeah, we just didn't have parts. <laughs> like we ran – the whole year on one pro charge. We finally got a spare towards the end of the year. So we were trying to baby that motor and get through the year. Yeah, for sure, man. Um, I don't know if you're on your phone. I don't know if you can see the comments or not. Um, oh, man, let me see. But uh, just, I wanted to point one out. I could probably put it on the screen, actually. Yeah, I can. I can. There's a comment where you can read it. Can you cut better lights than Kai Kelly? <laughs> Kai, right, get on the side of me, Kai. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, uh, so, uh, towards the end, I think it was maybe race 10, um, you made the semifinals. That was your that was your best finish of the year. You made the semifinals um, to go, go up against Scott Taylor. Um, could you – was it different for you? Because, I mean, could you feel the pressure at that point? Because you had raced, you know, a bunch of races before then. But this was like there was only four dudes left <laughs> at, at the end of the night there, and you're one of them. I mean, did you feel a little more pressure, especially going up against someone like Scott Taylor? I felt pressure, but, like, dude, this is my first year there. I was excited to be there. I was ready to 
kick Scott Scott teeth in, but Scott always get the better of me every time we race. Scott, I got a few people that give me like Scott, Brandon James, and Lizzie Musi. Man, <laughs> every time I line up to them, they just give me business up. <laughs> I, yeah, definitely, yeah, man. I definitely was uh, amped to be in that uh, to be in the semifinals, and especially to against Scott Taylor, and then see Ryan Martin and Brandon James right there. So I knew he was doing something good. Yeah, man, two Kelly guys in semifinals. Hell yeah. Um, how so overall? You had a great season, No Prep Kings. Um, you said a PR, they gave you the Rookie of the Year award, Street yep. Outlaws did, and then I saw that you were Greg Illustrated's 30 under 30. What does it mean to win those two things for you? Dude, first year out, no prep kings like the world seeing me, that was that was a big motivation to me to keep going, man, keep pushing. A lot of people strive for that, and, like, I got that. And even, like, even at the ceremony, it felt surreal. Like, you really don't notice what you're doing until you're in that limelight. Like, you're on the stage. You're looking out and seeing John Force and um, Antron Brown in the crowd. Like, you're like, wow, this is big. Yeah. It, it, it definitely was a special moment for me. Yeah, man. That's cool. Yeah, shout um, out to man, at Drag Illustrator, man. Thank you for uh, shining some light on me. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Shout out to Wes. Yeah. Um, let's talk about this upcoming season, No Prep Kings. Mm -hmm. uh, the, obviously, every the big talk right now is the new format, switching yeah. the teams. And saw y'all were all excited a couple, maybe like a month or two ago. Cali, Cali was getting this big old team. Yeah, we and now, now, now you're probably gonna be split up. What are your thoughts about the new format? Uh, man, it's gonna shake things up, man. Uh, me and my dad talked about it the other night. Like, there's a possibility me and him won't be on the same team. So, uh, a lot of guys gonna. It's gonna be a lot of um, a lot of shit going on. <laughs> It's definitely good. Definitely good. How did that conversation go? When you found out that your old man was going to be a captain, did you call him and say, hey, so uh, you're picking me with your first pick, <laughs> right? <laughs> he, about it. He, he said he's definitely going to try to, but at the end of the day, he's trying to win, just like every other captain. If, if I'm there when it, when, it, when the time come and when that draft, he's going to pick me. And if not, it is what it is. He's trying to win just like everybody else is trying to win. But at the end of the day, me and my dad come in there as a team. So I, even if we on a different team, we still on the same team at the end of the day. Yeah, how do you think that will affect you if you guys are on separate teams running the same race program? Uh, it don't make no difference. Like, at the end of the day, it's, it's one winner at the end of the day. And me and my dad, we competitive. We, we ride in the same trailer. We on the same team, Team Bodie. But if we line up together, we trying to cut each other head off. So, Right. Right, for sure. Um, and obviously, you want to be drafted by – uh, your dad, but is there another captain or a couple other captains that you would love to be a part of their team? I really, I get along with everybody. Everybody that captains, I feel like should be there, and I feel like I get along on any team. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think anybody would love to have you, man, especially how fast you were going last year. You were doing good things. So, um, what are your individual? I know the whole, it's all team this year, team no prep king, stuff like that. It's all based on team stuff, but what are your individual goals coming into this year? Individual goals. We ain't going in this this no prep like what any other goal than being number one, dude. I mean, Ryan Martin set the bar high for everybody. You see, everybody got new cars, new combos this year. I mean, but I'm gonna stick with my guns and know what I know work. And go what I know work, and so we're gonna come down for that number one spot, man. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Um, I got a little portion of my show where I do uh, read out some stats, read out some of your stats last year, and you might may or may not know them. And I just want to get your reaction to them. Um, so one of the stats is uh, last year you finished 21st in points, but um, you were actually tied for 15th in round wins. So really, in my mind, you were actually a top 15 car, um, which is really impressive because you only raced in 10 events, which is less than most of the people that actually raced last year. So what do you think about that top 15 car? And that, that that gives me some 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 hope going into the top 15. Like we should be somewhere. If we would have made all races last year, I feel like we was going to be in the in the points running for the championship. So, yeah, that's man, it. that's enough. Yeah, um, another stat I got, which involves that, is um, you were one of only fourteen drivers to actually win more rounds than you lost. Hmm. So it's only you and fourteen guys total actually were over five hundred. Um, and one of the, you were the only Cali guy to do that too. So. Um, that that's a big accomplishment, man. You were in the top. Maybe I'm doing something right. <laughs> hell yeah. First year, man. Hell yeah. You were doing a lot of things right. 
Uh, I got. I always read off one stat that uh, is not a, a, such a popular one for the driver. Um, but last year, you were you were zero and three versus your Cali teammates. You're actually zero and two against Mike Bowman. So they might have that to hang over your head this year coming into this year. Kicking my ass, my, my, ass. my teammates, man. So, like I said, I just gotta get my my ducks in a row and get them next time. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um. If you want right now, we'll do it right now, actually, Bodie. If you want, we'll take some questions from some fans. There seems to be a bunch of people on right now. Um, while we're waiting, I have one start I'm going to ask you about. While we're waiting, I'm going to play a little video. All right. Are you looking for a quick access firearm storage system that has a variety of access control levels based on your needs? Well, head on over to DoorGunnerUSA.com, a family-owned business who makes their products 100% right here in the USA. CajunHeritage.com is the place to go for authentic Cajun flavor. Rouge seasonings provide a high quality, pure, and affordable option when you're looking for that South Louisiana taste. For any and all No Prep Racing news, not just street outlaws, go to NoPrep.com or the No Prep Racing page on Facebook. This is the number one source for all things No Prep, so be sure to check it out. If you're in the business for motorsports, automotive, or event photography, look no further than Annette Bauer Creative. She specializes in photography as well as social media management and partnership consultations. You can find her on Instagram or through her website at AnnetteBauerCreative.com. So, Bodie, you got any uh, sponsors or partners you want to shout out right now? Yeah, man. Uh, Pro Charger, for one. Uh, Pro Charger always been helping me since I got this car together. They always been backing me. Every time I need something, they got me. Um, big one last year to help me out and this year, huge was Danny at LAT. Built a great relationship over with him this past year. Um well, so we got Iski and um uh Summit, Summit, John, John at Summit take care of me, man. So couldn't do it without them. And shout out to my crew, man. Mike, Mike Henry, uh Nick, Nick Liggins, man, um, Ben Boyan, uh Miguel. Uh, I got a lot of good. Roger Rabbit, Cole, everybody, man. I got, I got a lot of people that help me out. Nice, man. Definitely takes a whole team for sure. Oh, yeah. Shout out to my guy, Robbie LaRusso, man. He helped me out big time. Local racer out uh, out Cali, man. He he helped me out big time. Yeah. I, uh, I have one question I saw, and uh, it's funny. It's from my last my last episode or last show I did last week with Tony McKinney. Um, it says, uh, "What do you think about Tony McKinney saying no one, no one wants the Cali guys because they're slow?" <laughs> Man, Tony, Tony, if he if we slow, he's lying on Tony. Then then we can see who really slow. That's all I gotta say about Tony. <laughs> Pick up, and let go, let go of that button. You know Tony talks shit, and it was funny he said that because you beat him last year in a race. So I beat. Tony. Um, you did. I don't remember what race it was, but Tony, I I remember I was supposed to race. I don't remember. Tony did got pushed off the starting line. I remember that race. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, me and ran side by side. I might have got one by default on Tony, man. Uh, some of these questions you had asked answered already, but um, I Chris May wants to Chris May wants to know if you. If your car cut any weight this season? Uh, right. So last year, my car was twenty eight thirty with me in it, and we still got a lot of weight. I got I got a heavy forty pound um battery in the back. I got some some bars. I can carbon bars. I can go to to lose some weight. Um, so we got we got room to lose some weight. But as of right now, I'm just testing how it is right now because I know it works. And uh, if if need be, we can cut weight there. So. Nice. Lighter is better. Lighter is better. But if it ain't broke, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, I got some more questions for you, Bodie. Um, talk about how how uh, talk about how important your relationship with your dad is in your whole racing career. Like how how it goes between you guys and your race program and and everything. Yeah. So my dad, man, he's the four man with all me into it i was in the back of my grandfather's van watching the street race when i was so he he got it and instilled in me and even now like my dad 
lets me do my thing for the most part, but like he also like steps in and give me great advice. Like my dad's been in it for forty plus years, so he 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 knows what he knows. He, he's just a very smart dude. But me and my dad are real tight, real tight. And like like I tell everybody, like Justin races with his dad. Um, Kylie Mills is out there with her dad, and that's the best. That's the best feeling in the world going out there racing with your family, knowing somebody got your back like that. That's the best feeling in the world. Yeah, man. Family's everything. Yep, definitely. Uh, is there anybody that gets you a little more amped up to race against them uh, than others? Uh, like I said, like the 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 Scott Taylors, the the Lazy Music. I want to say Lazy Music right now, man. I I hate hearing what she got to go through, man. I hope she fights through that. I know she will, and, and, and get back racing, man. We we need her out yep. there. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, Lizzie last year kicked my ass. Brandon James kicked my ass. But of course, I I, I hear everybody saying Ryan Martin, Ryan Martin. Yeah, we want to get more Ryan Martin too, but we gotta have something else first with Ja, with uh Scott Taylor and Lizzie and uh Brandon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Um. Bucci, uh, did you make any changes to your car for upgrades? Did you upgrade your car at all? No, nah, that's good. That's Michael's Gucci. No, Bu no Bucci. Some person oh, named Bucci. Bucci. Yeah. Shout out to Chris Michaels too, though. That's my man. <laughs> Him and uh, nah, but nah, pretty much the same with everything. Everything's exactly the same. Only thing I got different this year is my paint. Nice. Hopefully now we We've seen your car. Your, your dad, I think, was the first time I've seen that car when he was mm -hmm. racing it uh, fast in America or uh, America's List. Mm -hmm. um, are you gonna do? You wanna, are you gonna do any street racing in the future on Street Outlaws? You think? Uh, I have. I have. You all will see that come here soon. Oh, did you? Oh, did you go to make? Were you? Did you race and make cash days? Yep. Okay. Nice. We don't gotta get into it, but yeah. Okay. All right. I didn't know that. Nice. Yep. I'll see that. But uh, yeah, we plan on. I, ideally, we'll get there. Like I said, we ain't these big, big crews where you got three different cars. You can do street racing with track racing. We ain't got one car we do everything with. So my ideal is to do good and build myself up to get there where I can have multiple cars. Yeah. Speaking of Chris Michael. <laughs> 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 You got a story you want to share about that, Bodie, or no? All right, so uh, this was when we were out at Jamie's race two weeks ago, right? <laughs> and I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm suiting up to get in my car, right? And <laughs> somebody yells out, God damn, Bodie, is that your brother? Your son look older than you. <laughs> I have my beard all out, see? I got more, I'm out more grades than my dad. But <laughs> I got, my dad did a hiding. He cut that. He got his hair off. And, uh. He got some a little magic stick. It's magic wand he used, you know. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, but I'm like, I went back to the room. Like, I was like, God damn, I look old. <laughs> Shaved it off. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you got me. You got me. Look good for the TV, man. You gotta keep it. Oh, keep it nice I'm, and dark black. I'm keeping it baby faces, man. Y'all might recognize me on TV. <laughs> nice. Uh. I got some more questions, Bodie. What do you uh, What do you do for a living that allows you to race and travel and do all the good stuff all summer and fall? Uh, man, it's hard, man. Uh, like I told you, I'm a I'm an engineer at facilities. It's it's getting hard with this no prep, man. It's every weekend, so that might come to an end, and I'm gonna have to uh, pull a Justin Swanstrom and take this racing on full on, you know? Yeah, yeah. You should definitely hook up with him for advice on social media and how to get that how to get that cracking because. He's got that down. Yeah, he he know he had to quit a job to to do this full time, and that's what it's looking like. I'm gonna do it here soon. So, yeah. What do you like to do, Bodie, when you're not racing? You got any other hobbies? Um, um, I've slowed down. So a lot of people don't know. I had a son this last year. Uh, I got he turned oh, one. Congratulations. Yep, I like chilling with him and my lady. Now I gotta, uh, I show my my gray hairs, my age with, with them. I just like to kick chill with them. Before that, I was. Dirt bike riding, like to side by sides every week, <laughs> chilling, nice. chilling, enjoying this Texas weather, and I hop in these race cars. I'm like, nice. Yep. Well, that's cool. So they get to come watch you race, huh? Oh yeah, yep. They'll, they'll be here uh, all, all year, hopefully. 
if things go right. Nice. Um, so speaking of social media, so where can people follow you on social media? On uh, Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff. Facebook at Jay Bodie Jr. Instagram Jay Bodie underscore Jr. And uh, I'm gonna get this YouTube back going. I, I kind of took a break when I moved out here to Texas um, from Cali, but YouTube is Team Bodie Racing. Team Bodie Racing. All right. Yeah. Um, what about merchandise? Do you just sell merchandise at the track, or do you got a uh, website? You got any got anything going on like that? We working on that. So right now we got a. Uh, our merchandise at the at the races right now. Uh, once the first race comes up, we're putting up our um, online store. So once June second hit, we'll have a online store up with our merchandise there and our merchandise at the races. Yeah. Okay, cool, man. I'm just gonna see if there's any more any more questions. Um, questions? Any more questions? <laughs> uh, Bucci, can you tell us anything about the new team format that nobody has mentioned? To be honest, um, I don't know much about it. Like, I know as much as everybody else knows. I really don't know much about it. I guess we'll, we'll see come June 2nd. They'll, they'll, they'll let us know that first race. Yeah, now, you know, and I was I was talking about this, I think, with Tony or mm -hmm. Nate, Nate Saylor. But um, yeah. I'm interested to see because when we were when me and Tony were talking about it, I was like, if of all the captains, I could see your dad being the one that's most loyal to – his actual teammates, you know what I mean? Like I, I could see your dad drafting the Cali guys, right? Just because, you know, it seems like for, since your dad's been on the show, like he's really loyal to Cali. It's all about Cali. And I was like, I wonder who's going to be the first person <laughs> to piss off one of their teammates and not draft him. You know what I mean? I was going to, cause <laughs> I bet yeah. you everybody wants to, I bet you everybody says it's, it's talking big. Like, yeah, you know, I'm, I want the fastest guy, but when it comes down to it, are you actually going to be able to draft that, that yeah. fastest guy? You know what I mean? Or are you going to be able to, you know, so I'm interested to see how that all plays out because that'll That's probably be good drama TV for sure. Well, but, but uh, again, go back to that. Uh, my dad picking Cali guys. A lot of the Cali guys getting their shit together for this next year. So oh, yeah. Pick before my dad even get to them. So. Right. No, you're right. Yeah, especially if your dad gets, if you, you know, if your dad has, what, eighth pick in the first round. Right. Yeah, there might be a Cali guy or two gone before that. So, no, you're right. It all is it's gonna be it's Somebody. gonna be interesting. Somebody, I, I'm, I'm gonna let you guess who it was, but uh, they're not a captain yet. They're they're going to be that. Well, I don't know if they're going to be there in the the let their fans. Yeah, they came up to me. I was at a race with them a few weeks back, and they said, "I don't give a damn, Junior. I'm picking you before your daddy." <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, it is what it is. How the cars fall, man. So right. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, man, it's gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be a really fun time. Um, but first, man, I just want to thank you for coming on the show tonight, dude. Um, Daddy Day, everybody's saying Daddy Day. That's what I was gonna guess, Daddy Day too. But <laughs> I guess we'll find out, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. But thanks for coming on the show tonight, dude. Um, big yeah. fan of yours, man. I'm glad we got to link up and, and yeah. you come on the show. Um, I wish you the best of luck this year. I'm gonna be at that first race, so I definitely come and meet you, hang out with you, see what you got going on. I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for what you do for for our sport, man. There's no prep, man. We we enjoy seeing the stats you got for us, man. It's dope. Keep doing what you're doing. Appreciate you, man. Yes. Yeah. All right. Have a good night. All right, you too, bro.